Hello and welcome to BMAD in Revit tutorials. Today I will show you a few tips how to model topography when you have a slope terrain such as this you watch now on this example. This is one simple uh, village house and here we have difference in the slope this is original slope and we want to model the topography that follow the wall we created uh, here and I will show you how to do this in Revit uh, the method is very easy you, we need to create reference element which we will use to align the topography points to that reference element. Now, uh, using model in place, I will select, I will set the, pl uh, the plan by surface. All right, and here I will model uh, that element which we will use as a reference to align the topography points. All right, once more. I will select the surface where I will model this reference element by using the model in place tool. All right. I already modeled the wall here and this line will follow the slope of topography that we want to model. All right. The important thing here is how to model topography uh, which won't be visible on the outside of this uh, of this area where we will build our house. On the roadside, we don't want uh, topography to be visible. We only want to see it inside of our area. I will show you how to do that. Uh, this is also one very simple simple method to solve that problem all right now i will continue this reference element to the gate where is the entrance to the area where we will build our village house all right There is, uh, we need to train this here. All right, now it's ready. And I will join this element to the, I will close now it and I will join it to the wall we modeled here earlier. So the intersect line will appear and that line will uh, be our reference where we will align the topography points. Now, I will copy this point here and I will copy it uh, on this line to the gate, all to the gate. I will add points. As much uh, points we added, the topography will look uh, better. So, and I will speed up this part of the tutorial because it is the same steps sometimes can be bore, boring but when you model the topography once you can use it you can use it for any presentation and to create any drawing or isometric section you want all right, as I said, as much as point we added, the topography looks better. All right, that's it. We are almost there. And I will align first horizontally, then vertically all these lines to the reference line. 
we created that reference line appear when we intersect when we join the wall with our reference element and now I will use this intersect line to align the points you see now all right I opened I opened uh, transparent model or wayframe settings so we can see all lines here uh, it makes our aligning work easier you can see by clicking to line and to points we will align all these points to our reference element all right if you want to see it slowly you just uh, can adjust the speed of this video on YouTube channel in the right corner below you have settings to do that you can increase or you can see now the topography it looks great and now we are going to solve the problem that I mentioned before we don't want to see topography increase on the outside of this wall so we'll select all these points and we will copy them on the outside of this wall and then we will change the height of these points by moving them to the height of the road now you will see okay now we will copy them first using copy tool to outside of the wall all right now I need to select them and to move them to the height of the road So this difference in topography will be hidden into the wall. It won't be visible from the outside. By uh, pressing the control button, I'm selecting all these points. From the outside of the wall all right as i said sometimes this can be uh, difficult to do it takes time but when you finish it and the most important thing for creating the uh, design is to model the topography all right i think there is uh, one point that goes here we have problem just to make our frame all right now it's transparent and i need to delete this point here all right now it's ready and as I said, this part of topography is hidden into the wall and it won't be visible from outside. You can see the road part is... Now we can delete this reference element and that's it. All right, that's all dear friends for this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe and to share my works with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next tutorial.